Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 300. We made it to 300, where we have to clear out 24 jelly in 50 moves. Now, uh, this is a 4x3 grid, and this is a 4x3 grid, so 12 plus 12 equals 24. That's likely where the jelly is going to be. Plus, if you have good eyes, you can see the fringes of the jelly. Plus, if you're like me, you've played this game already. This is my fourth playthrough for recording purposes, and so I know that's where the jelly is. Uh, now we have this area as well, and we've got a stripe that can help us, but really this stem is a bit innocuous. Um, it doesn't harm anything if we don't clear it out, except this area will not repopulate with candy because the frosting is in the way. And this helps a little bit by taking off a layer of frosting. So I'm not going to worry too much about it, although if I see an opportunity to make a color bomb, I might go for that. And then, of course, green would be a good color to open up with this color bomb. And it would concentrate the rest of the colors on the board. I could try to match it with a special, but it's unlikely to happen. So let's just do this. Let's open things up. Now, with less green on the board, I'm going to see, did that give me an opportunity to make any specials? No, but I'm going to take out even more green and see if things line up. Well, that special's going the wrong way. Yes, I'm very particular. I want those vertically striped candies that can help me reach upwards. Here we go. Nice. It's got set off as well. And the further over I can get this, the better. Now I've got candy in here, and so I could potentially match things up and take out things internally. Notice though that some of my candy is mystery candies. Now this could present an opportunity or a problem, or a little bit of both, which is usually what happens, because these can be good or evil. Because they can be evil, and because I'm still very isolated, I'm not going to try to set those off yet. I'm going to hold off a bit and see if I can open up more stuff before I um, open these up, so that if they are evil, I've got something to battle against them with. Okay, so we opened that up. Now, if I could make a color bomb in here. Oh, no, I can't. I was thinking then I could have something to offset any problems created by that. I still keep looking over here. If things change, I might still be able to, to craft a special, but they didn't change. So let's see. Here we go. All right, so now I have a color bomb. And now if anything evil shows up, I have at least a chance of getting rid of it. Let's see. I'm going to go for a stripe again. I keep foregoing the opportunity to make wrapped candies because wrapped candies down here aren't really particularly helpful. But look at this. I've got so much purple on the board and I've got this opportunity. I hope these go vertically. Now I know I'm opening up these mystery candies and they could be evil, but fortunately for me they weren't. <laughs> um, I said that this is my fourth playthrough on my third playthrough. I was so close. Everything was going superbly well. I was almost done and then I decided well, I can go ahead and send off a striped candy, and there are two um, uh, mystery candies up here, but if one ends up being a thick frosting, I don't need to worry. I don't need the stem anymore for anything. I can, you know, get by without it. And then if it's a chocolate, it should drop all the way down here or you know, ticking time bomb or something. And what happened is there was a ticking time bomb that formed right here, and then a wrapped candy that formed right under it, but the wrapped candy was l wrapped in marmalade and I couldn't bring it down in time, and that's how I died. Oh, well, that happens. So those mystery candies, they can be very dangerous, deadly even. But thankfully, we're getting some really nice ones here. Let's see. I'm going to do this because I need to get all of this uh, frosting removed. And the best thing to do, I know I should have taken that color bomb that was there before I did this because we're on this portal system. But um, the best thing to do is to try to make moves directly in here that can just take out that, that jelly we're going for. And this should do it. This is going to have enough impact to reach up and take out that jelly. So now I come over here, and I need something good to help. Oh, I have something. I can make a move directly in here. I just didn't even notice it. All right, so that's how I beat this level. My fourth playthrough, but um, really, I think a fun level. I don't think it's extraordinarily difficult. I think you do have to watch out for those mystery candies, though. 
if they're evil and they're trapped, they can really do you in quickly. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section. I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. And as always, thanks so much for watching.